there, Kathy. Hi there, Kathy Brennan here. Helping you to look better, feel better, and do better. So today we're going to talk about being tired. Some of us wake up in the morning and we're already tired. Some people hit that mid-afternoon slump where they just, ugh, it's hard to concentrate. And then others feel tired in the evening before it's really bedtime. They're just so exhausted from the day. They just feel tired. Well, there is something to do about our tiredness. There are actually three strategies to address how tired we are. Now, as Americans, we are extremely busy. We run from here to there. We say yes to so many things. So many, many of us are dealing with this feeling of fatigue. What are the three strategies? Well, the first one is to take care of your body. Our body is a tool. Let's, let's liken it to a car. You get in a car to drive from here to there. A car is just a tool to get you here from here to there. It's nothing more than that. And like our bodies the same way. Our body is just something we live in and it helps us get from here to there. It helps us perform. It helps us do things. It's just the building or the container we live in. So our body, like a car, needs to be well maintained. And otherwise, it will be tired. It will be tired. It won't operate well. So with a car, of course, we put gas in it or you plug it in if you have an electric car. You need to change the oil and maintain it, rotate the tires. Um, if something breaks, you need to repair it. So it's the same thing with our body. We need to maintain it and take care of it. We need to give it the right fuel. There's just no two ways about this. We need to eat the right things at the right time in the right amounts. If that tool is going to work, our body, it needs to be fed well. It will be tired, it will be sluggish, it won't perform well if we're not eating right. That's just all there is to it. Our body also needs rest. Everybody's body needs rest. 90% of people need seven to nine hours a night. And I know you're telling me, I don't have seven to nine hours a night. I gotta get this done, that done, the other thing. Well, here's the thing. Your body is going to need that whether you give it to it or not. You can't muscle your way through that. It's as if you, the, you had a flat tire on a car and you said, well, I just don't have time to pump that tire up. The car just will not perform as well if it doesn't have air in the tires and your body will not perform as well if you don't give it rest. It just needs rest. So there are things that you're going to have to say no to. That's just all there is to it. Prioritizing sleep is so important. And when you prioritize sleep, it will help this sluggish feeling, this tired feeling that you have. And our body needs to move. It just needs to move. If you put a car and you just parked it in a parking lot for 40 years, it's not going to perform very well when you get it going again. It's the same with our bodies. We were designed for movement. And think about our ancestors and how much they had to move. And in, in, um, in this American culture, how sedentary we are. I have heard that sitting is the new smoking. That sitting around and being sedentary. And I'm at a desk. I, I get this. That not moving is, is adding to our tired feeling. So we need to move. You can figure out what is the amount of exercise, whether it means getting up and taking a walk. And a lot of this is just prioritizing our time. Um, and we've, we've let all this stuff crowd our life so we don't have time to take care of this container that we're living in. And then we're tired. The second strategy is to take care of our mind. So 
we are again we're busy and we're running here and there and we don't stop and we don't we're not managing our stress it can be something as simple as deep breathing that manages your stress it can be taking care of or creating boundaries with someone who's asking too much of you that all their requests on you and your inability to say no and create boundaries is adding to your tiredness. This is the reason you're feeling exhausted, taking on other people's stuff. Frankly, we need to stop and love ourselves and take as good care of ourselves mentally and emotionally as we do other people care for each other or care for ourselves um, give ourselves little pep talks in our mind um, give ourselves time to re relax give ourselves grace and give ourselves forgiveness often we are a worse critic on ourselves than we are of someone else and that again that adds to the tiredness Believe in yourself. Like often I believe in other people that they can do it. I know they can do it. We need to believe in ourselves too. That will give us energy and help us. It'll add to uh, uh, our, our enthusiasm so that we are not feeling tired and sluggish. So we clearly know our emotions can make us tired or not. And I heard this story once about... Um, uh, a young woman who had been dumped by her boyfriend and she was so sad and eating ice cream and moping around the house. And then he called her and he said, hey, can I come over and talk? And within an instant, she felt better. She felt energetic. She got herself put together. So our emotions absolutely have to do with this energy level. And the third strategy, and there are many things within each of these strategies we can do, but the third one is taking care of our spirit. We are spiritual beings. We are capable. We have a limitless, endless supply of love available to us. We have faith in ourselves and entities and maybe the universe or God. We have faith. We, we can be grateful. And when we take care of that spirit, when we take the time to be grateful for all that we have, it raises our energy level. We are less tired when we, when we give ourselves that. When we take the time to hope, to hope for what's going to become out of this difficult situation or hope that your own understanding will get better hope it will raise your energy level and again this is this is a time thing we are on this treadmill of life and we're not stopping to take care of our spirit and be grateful and hopeful understanding like finding meaning to things sitting back and reflecting on something that just happened and realizing what was the deeper meaning of that what did that teach me? What, it, what new perspective do I have now because of the meaning that I'm going to attach now to the situation? That's taking care of our spirit. And that's the th kind of thing that can raise your energy level. When you're feeling hopeful and grateful, you're not tired. You, you, you would just like internally, you... You turn up the heat, you turn up the energy, and, and you feel better. So there are many strategies. You can find out more of them and more about why we get to this tired, stuck place in my book. So now what? A guide for people who feel stuck. You can purchase it in the link below. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Be well. <laughs>